Hello everyone, hopefully in this video I'm going to show you how to take your HP 250G5 to bits and to get to the hard disk and the motherboard and replace parts or do whatever you need to do. So the first thing you need to do is remove the battery, so you slide the little tabs over uh, and release the battery and move it out. Then there are two screws which are hidden underneath that battery. and then there is a cheeky screw under each of these rubber feet at the back next to the battery you just need to lift off or slightly unpeel the rubber foot and unscrew and remove the screw and then one on the other side of the laptop on the opposite side Then continue to remove all the other screws that you can see on the underside of the laptop. Every single screw is exactly the same length, including the ones underneath the battery and the ones underneath the rubber feet, so it doesn't really matter whether you mix them up. Uh, you don't need to put them back in exactly the same place. So to recap, there are four screws on the row that's alongside where the battery runs, two screws on the row where the uh, serial number and model number sticker is, three on the row below, and then three on the row that's closest to where I'm sitting. So now you've unscrewed it all, you do now need to unclip the um, palm rest from the underside of the, the laptop. So I found using a plastic kind of credit card type device was pretty much the most successful thing, but a spudger or something that won't damage the plastic when you run it between the, uh, the edge of the palm rest and the edge of the underside plastic is a good idea and you'll basically just hear it unclipping and unclip all the way along uh, the front edge and then both sides as much as you can. Then once you've unclipped as much as you can, flip the machine over and close the lid. And then you want to, uh, on the side which is on the right hand side of this video, or if you've got it in the same orientation that I have and you're looking at it, it's the left side. You want to lift up that left side and then there are th uh, two or possibly three clips which are holding it together on that left side, which you need to unclip uh, just by using tension I think and then there are three more clips as you go along which are much easier to unclip and there we go then hinge it so that you're you kind of hinge it away from the VGA connector which is closest to where the camera is at the moment and there we go the entire underside of the HP laptop comes off so that exposes the motherboard and um, BIOS battery wireless card memory uh, CPU, CPU fan, 
and uh, obviously the hard disk. So there are three screws holding in the hard disk. Undo those three smaller screws so they are a different size to the ones which are used for the rest of the case. Lift the hard disk up and very gently you can just remove the serial ATA or SATA connector from the hard disk. Then unscrew the four screws which go into the hard disk. Those are again a different size screw so make sure you don't mix those up. And remove the metal brackets remembering which orientation they're in so when you put the new drive in you screw the brackets in in the correct uh, correct way. Uh, on several of the machines that I did the one of the screws on the hard disk wasn't screwed in correctly and it does worry me that on some of these HP machines maybe that will come loose and start floating around inside the case and possibly short out the motherboard. Anyway get out your new higher capacity hard disk or if you're uh, sensible a uh, very quick SSD and screw the brackets back onto that. and drop the hard disk back into where it belongs once you've done everything up and gently reattach the serial ATA connection and then replace the three small screws which hold the hard disk or now the SSD into place taking note that one of the holes on the bracket does not have a screw that goes through it at this stage. The screw that goes through the top cover goes through it. So the, there's only three screws out of the four which you do on that bracket at this point. And there we go, we get the cover and kind of hinge it back on in the same way that we took it off because the VGA connection and the other things get in the way so you have to start it on the side which is closest to the camera. And as you can tell it can be a bit of a pain trying to get it started. Once it's done, push everything down so you hear all the clips or the clicking back in. And then it, it's also a good idea to open it and just squeeze and make sure that every single one is done before you do the screws up. Because if you do the screws up first and then click the, the clips down, you might find that some of the screws aren't done up quite tightly as they should be. And there we go, it's just a case of putting back all the screws which are all the same size, so fairly simple. Obviously remembering the two screws which are underneath the uh, rubber feet at the either side of the battery.
And there we go. Put the battery back in and make sure that you do the switch on the left side to lock it in place. And you are done. You have replaced the hard disk in your HP laptop. Uh, at this stage I did want to turn it on and show you in BIOS that it was detected, but annoyingly or disappointingly the HP BIOS doesn't have the feature to show you that there is a hard disk detected. However, on all the machines that I had done that day, every single one detected fine and off we went. I hope this has helped you. Good luck!